We begin tonight with something that might be entitled Some Assembly Required, although I think that's probably something of an understatement. This particular story was pieced together by Anne Marie Berger. It's moving in day at the St. Louis Science Center, and their newest resident doesn't travel lightly. Her name is Sue, and her belongings fill four 18-wheelers. We had 38 crates we had to unload. Is this the easy part or the hard part? This is the easy part. Assembling will be a task. Sue is the skeleton of a 65-million-year-old Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Science Center staff has the job of putting her together. I got to do. Sue is world famous uh, among paleontologists and just being able to share uh, such a great specimen with the St. Louis area is, is very exciting. This Sue is a cast of the original fossil. The actual T-Rex lives at the Field Museum in Chicago. Each leg comes as one piece. Uh, the hips are one piece. There's two tail pieces. So we're not putting together uh, each bone, it's each section of bones which are linked together by a rod. For the last several years, a cast of Sioux has been traveling across the United States and abroad. And while a replica may not sound that impressive, you should know the significance of Sioux. Sioux is the most complete and also the largest T-Rex ever found. This is the rib cage. This is the biggest piece. A little more forward. Sue was discovered by her namesake, fossil hunter Sue Hendrickson in North Dakota back in 1990. And because she was almost a complete specimen and the most well-preserved, scientists have learned more about the T-Rex than ever before. You can still see where the muscles were attached by tendons to the bones. You can still see the uh, serrations in the teeth, which were used for uh, grinding up the, the smaller material that she would chew. So all those things help scientists uh, know how Sue uh, smelled and, and breathed and, and those sort of things. Side shift right, stop right there. Sue measures 42 feet long and stands 12 feet tall. And while we don't know how she died, her bones do tell us a lot about her life. We do know that she uh, had some struggle in her life, probably like all dinosaurs did. There's some uh, parts on the leg there where you can see where the leg may have been broken and that bone healed around there, uh, as well as there's some speculation in the jaw. Some of these holes were, were uh, infections or bite marks. It, it was a big dinosaur, huh? Yeah. What, do you know what the dinosaur's name is? Yeah. What's the dinosaur? Sue. <laughs> yeah. While Sue's name is Sue and most often referred to as she, her bones don't tell us what her gender actually was. If there were more well-preserved specimens, they would be able to compare them against each other. At this point, they don't know, though. Sure. Might eat might eat Paleontologists estimate that Sue weighed about seven tons when she roamed the Earth. And the exhibit at the St. Louis Science Center, appropriately called a T-Rex named Sue, illustrates the advancement in understanding these creatures. The more uh, paleontologists find, the more they learn about Sue. They originally thought that the T-Rex walked upright with its tail dragging the ground. And uh, around 1970, uh, they changed that theory that, that the tail was really used more for balance. So, and, and more, so Sue traveled, or T-Rex has traveled more in the position that you see Sue in here. But for now, Sue isn't going anywhere. Until mid-April, she'll be calling St. Louis home.